Man, that is a stout, stout piece of machinery. Yeah, awesome. A nice brand new belt. Ooh, that's a 60 grit. I use 60 grits all the time. All right. So I've got the grinder. There's a little something different going on back here, but I also have a, uh, should be an adjustable tool rest. Can't wait to get this thing out and give it a shot. That is the double stack kit. Articulating tool rest. Look at that drive wheel. Nice big drive wheel. Crowned. Alright, so it's out of the box, it's on the table. Man, everything about this grinder just screams heavy metal. Every part of this machine is extremely well made, super heavy duty, and just so stout. You'll notice, if you're familiar with the KMGs, that this looks a little different on the back. This is a direct drive kit for a 56C face mount motor to allow a KMG Classic to be a direct drive grinder. So if you go and search YouTube, you'll find guys that have done this mod themselves, but this is one straight from Beaumont, straight from KMG. I'm super excited and proud to be the first one to test this out. So I've got a motor over here. I'm gonna get it unboxed, connect it up, and we'll see how it works. So if your motor has feet on it, these feet have to come off. So I've already loosened this one up. So let me take this one off. And once you get these motor feet off, then uh, it should fit back here behind the grinder. So I'll tighten that up with the ratchet. But that leaves my wiring box in a nice place for the wiring to run out of here to the VFD. Let's see how this drive wheel looks. Super nice, super nice. That's about lined up. 
So I think this is about how I'm going to have it sitting on the table for now. This is most of the unboxing that I wanted to cover. Just showing you the machine, how it was packed, which by the way was extremely well. And then the features of this direct drive mount. I really think that is a really, really cool addition that is going to um, lend more power to the machine and uh, more stability here. You know, less moving parts I think is always a good thing. So um, this is a two horsepower, three phase motor. I've got to attach a VFD uh, to this. Um, but I also have an articulating work rest kit. I have their new double stack kit. What this does is this allows you a secondary uh, tool arm slot. You can take these bolts off and lift this up a little bit and you get another slot so that you can do um, multiple tool arms like that in the grinder. So, for example, the articulating work rest I'll have in the bottom slot and I'll move this platen to the top slot. Now, one of the things that we discussed was that as opposed to the original classic KMG where the motor is off to the side, when you have this 56C adapter in place, it does limit the amount of travel that your uh, tool arm bar can go back. So it may limit uh, your ability to have really long uh, tool arms, but I really don't think that's gonna be an issue for me um, unless I might want to use something like a really, really huge contact wheel. Um, and then at that point, I think you would definitely need to use the uh, double stack kit so that the arm could travel a little bit further back. I am super impressed with this product. It is extremely heavy duty and just industrial feeling. I can't wait to use it. So that's the unboxing for today. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Stay tuned for more <laughs> videos on wiring the VFD and configuring all the rest of the grinder. I'll put those up as soon as I can. See you next time. Thank you.